Well, people around the world, they woke up to a major cyber outage this morning, disrupting flights, banks, and several global businesses. The disruption stemmed from a software update pushed by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. It sells antivirus software to large corporations and government clients, including major global banks, healthcare, and energy companies. Computers running Microsoft Windows, a CrowdStrike client, were crashing because of a defect in a software update. The CEO says he is deeply sorry tonight to anyone who has been affected by the outages. And a lot of people were affected. So tonight we have team coverage from every single angle. We want to get straight to 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates, who is live in Midtown with more on the background of this company. Bo Beth. Well, you know, this issue impacts so many, not just here in Metro Atlanta, but all across the globe. And earlier, the CEO of CloudStrike took to the it took to uh, media and started apologizing for the issue and talked about how this all began. Take a listen. The system uh, was sent an update, and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a. Uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz explained how a glitch in its software caused a global outage stretching across a wide range of industries. And Emory University information systems professor Ron Chalapa says the impacts are far reaching. If your stock market is using this, that goes down. That affects millions of people. If airlines are using this for the reservation and scheduling, that goes down. So that affects millions of people. So the impact of all these things is on a wide variety of uh, folks in the market. The software update left computers using Microsoft software with the blue screen of death and unable to boot up. So what is CrowdStrike and how could this happen? You have these different computers that employees use. Now, employees, you know, they are subject to phishing attacks, et cetera, or install this software and so on, and they might try to do some of those things. Something like CrowdStrike, if they have a sensor on it, it ensures that you are not doing anything that the IT security doesn't allow. And therefore, you are able to kind of monitor and make sure nothing abnormal is installed. Chalapa says at least 30,000 major companies use the antivirus software, and many of them spent portions of Friday trying to get their systems back online, most reverting to a previous version of the software. And while CrowdStrike officials say they are also working with individual companies on a more permanent fix, many in the cyber industry wonder how such a massive error could take place. Normally when a software update is done, the firm does you know, alphas and betas and multiple versions of testing before it is actually pushed out. So it's rather surprising that a cybersecurity firm that is so important today that this would have happened. Now, again, since learning about the issue, crowd striking uh, officials said they have implemented a patch. Then are also telling people they can also restart their computer in safe mode to get around the issue. Live in Midtown, Bobeth Gates, 11 Alive News.